Hello guys and welcome here to the 7-Eleven IndyCar Series. This is race number three here today from the Circuit of the Americas. Of course, our second road course of the schedule. And today we present the IndyCar Classic. Now keep in mind the uh, NTT IndyCar Series not running here this upcoming season. Couldn't find the funding, I guess, but they did run here in 2019, and it was a thriller, which saw Colton Herta become the youngest winner in NTT IndyCar Series history. We will make some history of our own today. I'm Brian James here in the booth with you. Starting on the pole will be Alexander Rowan, the number eight, and two, his outside will be the number 98. And forgive me, I can't quite remember that name. It is Steve Morgan in the number 98. He will start in second. Of course, the last time we were on a road course, Daniel Gittero led most of the race. Or, I'm sorry, Mohamed Zain Abdullah led most of the race. I believe that was correct. Yes, it was. So, Mohamed Zain Abdullah led most of the race, got into some pit road trouble, and unfortunately, could not finish the job in that race. And then, of course, his teammate also started up front, so there's some pit woes going on in the Aero Schmidt Peterson camp, or McLaren Schmidt Peterson camp. So we'll see if they can correct that here today at Circuit of the Americas. And of course, um, we've had two different winners thus far. Uh, Mike Austin won last race at Chicago, or at, uh, not Chicagoland, at uh, Walt Disney World on Thursday. And then, of course, on Tuesday, our most recent road course, which was at St. Petersburg, we saw Nick Martins and the Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan team get to victory lane. So, so far, it's been Hondas getting to victory lane. When will today be the day the Chevrolets break through in this IndyCar Classic? We'll see in just a few moments when we get things going. But first, let's show you your starting lineup, and we'll be right back here on GCN in just a moment. Here we go. We're getting ready to go racing here at Cirque of the Americas. Again, yeah, IndyCar has only run once here. The uh, NASCAR Cup Series, the Truck Series, and the Xfinity Series will all be running here this upcoming season. Not a huge fan of that, but um, we'll see what happens here with the IndyCar Series. Will they put on a better show than the stock cars? That will be the question as the pace car peels off. How's about a former champ up front? Alexander Rowe, Steve Morgan. They'll lead us down the long front straightaway. The green flag is out. The IndyCar Classic is underway. And immediately the eight gets out in front. Here comes Eric Faden. He moves to second. But he's under pressure from the 98 and he'll get around his teammate. Now we're coming up on a trouble spot corner here. You could see a lot of rear end damage and front end damage come from this. You see right there, they make it clean it looks like. So thankfully no one really gets into each other here. And here's a high-speed part of the track. You see they touch 200 miles an hour and heavy braking here. That's going to be a lot of stress on the brakes and the tires, especially if they lock up the tires. Now 
Alexander Rowe kind of stretches out his lead here. So a good start going for the Husky Chocolate Chip Ganassi team. As they make their way through that final turn. And Alexander Rowe, he's going to lead the opening lap. We mentioned the Honda dominance early. Of course, the first race was won by Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan. The second race was won by Mike Austin of Chip Ganassi Racing. And now you see a battle for second, the two Andretti cars once again. <laughs> it looks like Eric Faden's going to hang on, but his teammates got to be sitting back there saying, Come on, man. Like, I'm running for the full season championship. You're just running for the road courses. Let's see right there. Eric Faden will hang on in the Auto Nation number 27. Of course, it's going to be a long race here, a 3.4 mile road course. One of two, I believe, that will run this entire season, of course. We'll be running Watkins Glen much later in the season. That's another 3.4 mile road course, but this one is so technical. And of course, Formula One also uses this course. You see them cutting on those uh, rumble strips right there. But of course, it's a busy... Er, Kind of an exhausting stretch here for the IndyCar series. Of course, we head to Texas tomorrow. So usually we run on Thursdays, but we will be running tomorrow instead due to the truck race. So Texas at 4 p.m. Eastern here on GCN. Then, of course, we'll be running at Barber and Indy next week. That'll be on Tuesday and Thursday. Then we will kick off the Indianapolis 500 race week. And of course the schedule for that, we will have pole, we'll have pole qualifying on, or I'm sorry, we'll have qualifying at new, 12.30 on, oh my gosh, we'll have, Qualifying on Sunday at 2 p.m. or 12 p.m. Eastern or 12.30 p.m. Eastern, I should say. That'll be on Facebook. And then at 4 p.m. we will have Fast 9 and Last 3 shootout. So that'll be at 4 p.m. Eastern. And then, of course, we'll have the practices on Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern. That'll be on uh, Facebook watch and then the Indy 500 well that'll take place I believe on the 28th if I'm not mistaken I'll have to double check my calendar but that's when the Indy 500 will take place so we're closing in on it slowly but surely And here's where they want to set themselves up for a pass. And look at how close that 98 is. He feels like he's the faster car, but he just can't get around his teammate. And the question will be, is it a one-stop race or a two-stop race? But of course, after the Indy 500, the season will ramp up. I should st stress that. So of course, we're only doing Tuesday and Thursday till the end of the cup season in the lift and truck seasons, as you see pit stops occurring. Will anyone stay out and play some strategy here?
Looks like some people already did. You see the one of Mitchell Collins is already pitted, and now he's going to try to lay down some of his fastest times. So will James Qualls and Scott Upton and Nick Martins. Slow stop for the 8. The 27 will get the race lead. Eric Faden. There's the 1. Where's the 1 going to cycle out in all this? Just in front of Alexander Rowe. So Eric Faden now the race leader. And again, a reminder, he's not running for the full season championship. He is only running for the road course title. So a solid run today could very well put him ahead in that. Because again, he won't be racing tomorrow. Up. It looks like the caution's out. Our first caution of the season, and it looks like it's Nikolai Sykes who brings this one out. And so much for Eric Faden's gigantic lead. We'll figure out what happened to the four of Nikolai Sykes in a moment as we want them to race their way back to the stripe here. This will set us up for a late race restart as well, which could make things very exciting. Oh, some bumping back here between the 98 and the 1. And the 1 is going to get by. So now it's Eric Faden, Trevor Collins, Mitchell Collins, Steve Morgan, and it looks like Alexander Rowe will round out your top 5. Let's go see what happened. Nikolai Sykes has a mechanical failure, it looks like. And you see right there, he's just running real slow in the racing groove and comes to a stop. That brings out the caution due to a safety hazard there. Tough break for Nikolai Sykes. Let's take you back to the green. Not everybody is pitting, but a handful of guys are coming to the pit lane. Eric Faden leading them all on. And you see the eight of Alexander Rowe is going to stay out, as will Casey Horton and Mohamed Zain Abdullah. Others that are staying out include Richie Hiroshi, Scott Upton, and Austin Shaw. And you see right there, they're out and away. Eric Faden leads the race off. And we'll take you back to the green here in just a moment. Kind of a dangerous game these guys are playing as we get ready for the restart here. It'll be Alexander Rowe, Casey Horton, Mohamed Zain Abdullah, Richie Hiroshi, Scott Upton. That's your top five. Then in 6th, you've got Austin Shaw, 7th, Eric Faden, 8th, Trevor Collins, 9th, Steve Morgan, and in 10th, you've got Casey Naneko. Now keep in mind, Eric Faden is the first of those cars who has already hit the pit lane. And you see a little bit of a jumble up back here. I'm wondering if they're going to wave off the restart. It doesn't look like it. As Eric Faden will lead them back, or Alexander Rowe will lead them back to the green flag as we get back underway here at Coda. Three laps of racing to go. And you see him fanning out. This is your chance to make a pass. Hiroshi is going to go to fourth, or keep fourth rather. 
as Mohamed Zain Abdullah is going to go for second. He won't get it. Trevor Collins got around the 27. Could this be Chevy's first victory of the season? Because again, we don't know if Alexander Rowe has saved anything under that caution. And if the 8 did not, likely this will open the door for somebody else. Oh, the 29 dives it in, trying to make a race-saving move. And instead, he's going to lose more time to the 8. So Casey Horton, boy, he really wanted a chance at that win here. Here we go. Now the big question, will they make it on fuel? Because if they don't, you know what's going to happen. This is going to hand the race lead to the three of Trevor Collins, if I'm not mistaken. And they're going to pit. Coming to two laps of racing to go. And the three is going to join him, as are the rest of the leaders, except the one, Mitchell Collins. He's going to stay out. We've got one gambling. I don't know why those guys that pitted already came down again. But it's going to be two laps of racing to go for Mitchell Collins. I don't think anybody else stayed out. The 29 gets out in front. But Mohamed Zain Abdullah is back there. And keep in mind, Mohamed Zain Abdullah came so close to victory at St. Pete. He can smell it here today, and he wants it. But another pit miss cue for the 8, and he'll lose a few spots. Is the caution back out again? Caution is out. And this is going to end the race. An accident at the exit of the pit lane. And it looks like it involved Zach Fitzwater. With the Meyer Shank group over there. And the 20 of Max Anderson. Again, a reminder, there is no overtime in this series. So this caution will end the race. And if Mitchell Collins can hang on, he's going to be a race winner. And he'll deliver Chevy their first win. Mitchell Collins leads him back to the stripe. The white flag is out. One lap of racing to go. Presented by Mitchell's Memes. See the rest of those leaders coming. And it looks like if Mitchell Collins can make it on fuel, Casey Horton and Mohamed Zain Abdullah will round out the podium. Let's go see what happened. You see double wide off the pit lane.
with the 20 of Max Anderson and the 60 of Zach Fitzwater. And it looks like their tires kind of get tangled up. You see up ahead, they did side by side as well, but it didn't result in that. And you see right there, right into the pit wall and just a memeable moment right there. The 20 flips over, so does the 60. How did those two make out? It looks, oh, they spun out too. Skylar Martins gets dumped by the 28 and he goes cascading right there but you see this wreck between the 20 and the 60 it blocks the entrance of the pit lane but a tough break for max anderson zach fitzwater we hope they're okay after that wreck and we'll take you to the finish here on gcn in just a moment what a day this is going to be for mitchell collins if he can hang on Of course, the question is, does he have enough fuel or will he pit, excuse me. And of course, if he can hang on, it'll be Chevy's first win. If not, Casey Horton is going to hand Honda their third win. And he's going to pit. <clears throat> Mitchell does not have enough fuel to get to the finish. But keep in mind, pit speed's a little... Well, pit speed is 55. He's not going to make it to the line. And Casey Horton is going to give Honda their third straight win to open the season. He wins at Circuit of the Americas. <clears throat> not the outcome that Mitchell Collins was hoping for and it'll be Casey Horton getting his first win of the season and how's about Muhammad Zain Abdullah who finishes <coughs> excuse me he finishes in second today <clears throat> And, of course, this makes up for that uh, misfortune over in St. Pete. So you know he's very happy about this. But congratulations are in order for Casey Horton. He is the winner today here at Circuit of the Americas. And we want to thank you for watching. We're going to show you results and standings. And we'll be back here tomorrow afternoon. When the 7-Eleven IndyCar Series takes on the Texas Motor Speedway. Until then, goodbye everyone.